Are you confused about the differences between the baritone ukulele and the standard ukulele, which is the soprano, concert, or the tenor? Well, in this video, I'm gonna break it down a little bit. We're gonna talk about these differences so you have a better idea of why this baritone is such a cool instrument. Hi, I'm Terry Carter and welcome to Ukulele Pros. Thank you for your support and subscribing to my channel and turning on that bell notification. Don't forget also, stick around to the end because I'm gonna go over a couple things here that I think you'll really wanna know. So some of the common questions I get about the baritone ukulele, which is, I have a baritone and I love it, except every time I play along with some videos online, it just doesn't sound right. Or I wanna get a baritone ukulele, but people say, no, I don't get it because the tuning is different than the other ukuleles. So let's talk about these things here that are gonna help you understand these differences, which is the size, the sound, the tuning, this whole high G versus low G thing. And then I'm gonna show you some cool things that you can do on the baritone ukulele that just don't quite work on this ukulele here. All right, so the first thing you're gonna notice is just a simply a size difference. This one right here is the baritone ukulele, and this one right here is a concert size ukulele. I could have chosen a soprano or a tenor, but I chose the middle one, the concert, one, because it's so popular, so many people have it, and um, it also really gives you a good idea of the size difference. So if you look at not only the bodies, but just look at them side by side here, I mean, that's a huge difference in size. And then also, just look at the neck length. The baritone here has a much longer neck than this concert one does. And that difference is even bigger if I had a soprano. Now the tenor ukulele would be a little bit closer to the baritone, but still the baritone is much bigger. All right, the next thing I wanna talk about is the sound. All right, let me play these. So that was a concert. Let me go ahead and play now the baritone. So you should have heard that this baritone is much bassier, right? It's much deeper sounding, it's much lower sounding. And there's a couple of reasons for that. One, whenever an instrument has a bigger body, the sound, the timbre usually goes lower, okay? So, and the smaller the body, the timbre goes higher. So that's one of the differences. But the next difference is the third thing I wanna talk about here, which is the tuning. The baritone ukulele has a different tuning then the other standard ukulele is the soprano, the concert, and the tenor. All right, let's go over that. So if we start here on the fourth string here, we got D, G, B, and E. Now, if you're a guitar player, those are the same four strings as the first four strings of a guitar. But now, this concert ukulele, we have G, and this is a high G, I'll talk more about that in a second, C, E, and A. So this is a completely different tuning in the baritone. Matter of fact, it's a higher tuning, and that's part of the reason, besides the body size, of why this thing sounds higher is because of the tuning. All right, let's talk about the next thing, this high G versus low G. So many times people are asking, are you playing a high G, are you playing a low G? Do you even know what that means? Well, when they say that, they're referring to this fourth string here on this concert ukulele, and it could be a high G or a low G. In this case, it's a high G. And what that means is, as I'm playing from the first string down, now this fourth string should go lower, but if you notice it kind of jumps up in the sound, that's because it's a high G. Okay? If you had a low G, that would sound a little bit better as you're moving down to the scale. High G is a really more of a traditional thing, uh, especially in the Hawaiian music stuff. So a lot of ukuleles I mentioned as do come with a high G. Now, you don't have to worry about that at all on the baritone because, first of all, you don't even have a G note on this fourth string. Remember, this is D, but these do come with, traditionally, I mean, I'm sure there's someone makes a set of strings that you can have a high D string here, but most of them come already set up with this, that more traditional low D sound. All right, now the last thing I wanna talk about in this video um, is some of the cool things that you can do on 
the baritone ukulele that just don't quite sound that good on the concert I have. All right, let me show you a few examples. Let me play that now on this concert. Right? I mean, it sounds kind of like, uh, I don't know. All right, right, just not the same vibe as all, right? Has a vibe, but not a cool vibe. All right, so how about something like this? Let me try to play what I just played, which is power chords on here. <laughs> this doesn't have the same punch, does it? I mean, how about something like this, like a little finger picking? Let me play that now here on this concert. Now I think it's quite obvious that you just cannot get some of the cool sounds from the baritone on a concert ukulele. Yes, a low G would help to some extent, but still you just can't get that low end. You just can't get that bass sound that the baritone ukulele gets. Now stick around for the next video because we're going to talk about the five key benefits to this baritone ukulele as we dive into this thing just a little bit more and help you understand it and help you understand just why it's such a great and a cool instrument.